last year, man, nothing but growth, man. Nothing but growth, triumphs, hardships, man. I learned a lot from it over the past year, man. I just, you know, I'm just I'm, I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm, I'm still, still here, still going, still working hard. I'm Oliver Brown, class 2018, go to Southern Durham. I just committed to the University of East Kentucky. This is Belief Over Pain. Pretty, it was pretty good, man. Um, but DJ got hurt, so he just called me up. Was like, man, we need you, we need you for um, the spring ball. And I happened to um, my coaches, my coach at Evansville got fired, so it was just like, you know, unsigned senior, just come out there and hoop. And I came out there, we just, man, I had fun, man. I was out there, <laughs> I was out there killing those dudes, and um, had a had a had a real good spring. Uh, picked up a little a little more interest. Joe Brown, Jamal Bruce's father. Really, a, you know, a good year. We thought we were set as far as basketball, and then, you know, the change that was made at Evansville. And so it was kind of like, for maybe a week or so, we were kind of apprehensive and um, wondering what it was going to be. But as soon as, you know, he was released from that commitment, um, like the school started calling in, so we were reassured that he would still be going to school for free, which was a good thing. This school year, well, with the team, we just got a new um, coach, David Noel. We just got a new coach, got a new team, pretty much. And, um, but really beat the odds. Like we, <laughs> we really like we were projected like, on paper. Like we looked trash, man. We looked trash, but we had a way better season than we um, than we than we planned out to have. We won a conference, beat up one conference. We lost in the second round in the state playoffs, but. Um, it was on it was on the road too, so it was you know people get that home cooking on the road. I had a real good season, real fortunate season, so I'm happy. My name is Talia Gerald Brown, and I'm Jamaru Brown's mother. Um, lots of hard work um, in the gym, days on, days off, practice, late nights, early mornings, uh, lots of homework. <laughs> Uh, very, very much uh, getting and prep, um, preparing for this next level. Oh uh, man, when I went up there, man, it was just like those those coaches that staff, man, A.W. Hamilton, that's a great guy. I flew with my mom and me out, and my mom loved it, man. She was, she was eating everything up, man. We don't come from much, so it was real, real good. Richmond, Kentucky is a real, real nice place, man, a real nice place, and it felt real. I just really felt the vibe of the city, you know. There's a lot of people out there, and it's just, Real nice out there, so. I think they have a good program waiting for him there, you know, to help, you know, help him along the way. So he should be fine. He has improved this year um, mentally by challenging himself to do different things. He's improved his shot. He's improved his leadership skills. He's improved um, in the classroom, just being more dedicated to learning with um, writing and um, just his learning and development. Um, he stepped up being a leader this year, and we're very proud of him for that. He definitely has a lot of, you know, people who have been rooting for him. And, you know, he came from, like, the underdog spot. Like, he's always been kind of, like, not necessarily the first choice. So he had to work himself to be, like, up front. And I think that, you know, now it's just about, you know, continuously putting in the work and not, you know, getting complacent and, you know, thinking you're okay because those same people who are supporting you, the minute, you know, you start falling off, you already know what's gonna happen. You know the nature of the beast, so. Um, but I think he'll handle it well. Your biggest competition is you. So as long as you're trying to get better, as long as you're trying to beat yourself, do your last best self, then, you know, you're, you're doing well. And that's always been his MO where he's always gotten better. Like, I've never worried even from the beginning when he couldn't go left or he couldn't shoot a jump shot. It was like, what, you, what you're what you doing, you do well, everything else is gonna add on. As far as um, the academic side, you know, I, I've definitely seen like, you know, a big improvement. Um, he's a lot more focused, um, you know, as a student. He's learning to be a better student. So it's just like his game with, you know, basketball is kind of like, you just get better and now moving into this next stage as far as, you know, going to college, it's like you're going to have to really, really be locked in and I think he's, you know, up for the challenge. I always, I always used to play like 100 miles per hour, like everybody used to tell me, man, you just, you're going too fast, you need to slow it down sometimes to find the pace of the game, find my pace of the game, 
and everything just uh, started opening up for me. I'm glad that I learned that because at the next level, man, everybody gonna be, everybody gonna be the same. Like, everybody gonna be 100 miles per hour. Everybody gonna be stronger and physically built. Like everybody gonna be the same level. So I'm um, glad I found a pace. We came over point guard, you know. So and my mid range is pretty smooth, but coach is like at the next level. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get met, have to score all three levels efficiently. Like, I can score all three levels, but I gotta be way more efficient with that three. I mean, it's, it's been like a great ride for all of us, especially me, because you know, as a father, you live, you know, through your children, and you know, pretty much all of the things that you kind of dream about and think about when you actually see your son, you know, making it happen. It's like, man, and I mean, I've never been um, disappointed or let down. Um, he's done really well. He's handling it all well, so I'm proud of him. I was so glad that we had the event here at RDU All-Star Game, man. We, it's getting better every, every single year. <laughs>
I'm, you know, I'm really excited to see how um, he takes advantage of this opportunity. The strong support is what you need. And uh, I'm just, I'm honestly blessed. I keep saying that, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have everybody in my life that I have right now. I'm blessed to have the support system that I have. It's been awesome to witness. Um, just seeing him take his wins and his losses in stride and work harder and always trying to get better at everything that he's doing. Um, he's excited to learn more at this next level and he's also um, grown so much with playing and, and team development and he's just been an awesome kid to watch grow up and be a part of. He's a great brother um, to his siblings and I've just, I'm just so proud to have him as my son. I feel like it's going to hit me the third day I wake up and in, in the dorm. You know, wake up in the morning, early morning workouts, I think, I think that's what it's going to hit me. I'm still not ready. Um, <laughs> I'm glad to see him go to college, but to send him off, it's very, it's, it means a lot because, again, just the opportunity to learn at a different level. Um, from being from Durham and the challenges of the school system, um, we're just proud that he's able to, he's accomplished so much and he's able to go learn at a, at a university academic level and um, grow into the person that he's going to be. I hope he um, develops and grows as a student. Um, I definitely um, can't wait to see um, how his game is incorporated into what Coach Hamilton is, um, you know, doing at Eastern Kentucky. Um, I would be shocked if he's not successful early. Um, you know, I'm, I'm definitely like high on, you know, Jamaru's game and Jamaru's abilities. So um, I am excited, but like I said, if um, I don't see anything but success coming his way. So, um, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to. Lil, I got to tat him, I got to tat him, leaf over pen. Leaf over pen, I got to tat him. No matter what nobody say, Keep working, man. I just live by live by that, man. Even if you got a bad game, no matter what anybody say, just keep pushing, man. Stand positive. Leaf over opinions just it's just the way what been a way of life for me for the past like year and a half, man. And everything everything I tweet, leaf over opinion. Everything I post on Instagram, leaf over opinion. Hashtag, man. Y'all go y'all click the link, man. It's, it's real. I the miss the mentality. Y'all y'all join the wave. To be honest, shout out to. All my bros, man, Cam, Darius, Cam Settle, shout out YSB, y'all go get his music. Y'all go get that man music, he's next up. Um, shout out everybody trying to, everybody, all the entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs and music wise, set it off, 883, everybody, man, just keep, just keep pushing, man. Y'all gonna make it out of here, y'all keep working on y'all craft, man. Shout out to my bro bros on um, the news, man. DJ just committed in East Kentucky, Tom Thomas in Nebraska, Carlo Zito, man, they down there, um, man. Charlotte in um, Greensboro working on that, working on that school, man. Just keep pushing, man. I, I love y'all for real. Shout out to um, shout out to everybody, everybody in Raleigh, man. I grew up with, man. Shout out to everybody, everybody in Durham that I learned, uh, grew up with over the past four years in high school. Shout out to everybody, man. I, I love y'all for real. Slam dunk. Hit him with the.